Hi students, welcome to Sridhar CCE Anandapurmu YouTube channel and welcome to our session, Editorial Analysis session. So write a daily what we are discussing guys. So we start with the quote of the day. So for the motivation and one word substitutions already phobias and manias list were given in the previous sessions. Right now we are going with idiomatic expressions keeping the examination in view like uh, so how they can ask you questions uh, related to idioms and phrases uh, are taken into account and we are giving you right from two days before so according to accordingly next phrasal verbs already were in the alphabetical order we are almost at the verge of these phrasal verbs and editorial vocab covering uh, phrasal verbs uh, phrasal expressions idiomatic expressions apart from those uh, uh, like content terms uh, tough terms uh, along with the pause of speech are given with this uh, editorial vocab and uh, analysis related to today's uh, okay, uh, today's editorial and the last but not the least uh, test of the day uh, new model with new patterns i mean new shortcuts uh, are discussed in the test of the day and let's uh, start with uh, the quote my goal is not to be better than anyone else but to be better than i used to be when i dine see here most of the people actually this thing was discussed in the previous uh, uh, previous quote even like a comparison like we always compare with others and feel sad and depressed and distressed so what for see you are <clears throat> unique believe that you are unique so you are you that's it so you have special abilities and you have uh, unique abilities and why shall you compare with others so the thing is so whenever you have a goal that goal should not be like uh, you should compete with others and <clears throat> with anyone else in this world so you should compete with uh, yourself like uh, you shall be improving uh, uh, yourself uh, like you shall be getting better than yourself what you used to be is the point here like uh, don't compare yourself with anyone compare yourself with you and try to better you up uh, by yourself so it's sort of confusion like very simple don't compare yourself with others just getting better like uh, better yourself up uh, compared to the previous day. that's it so let's get to idioms so here even some phrasal expressions of given like uh, how they use uh, incorrect usage means uh, exam point of view how they give errors and how shall we face it uh, so already flee flee related yesterday even we got and flee here we are getting a new one flee to flee uh, forms are fled fled don't get confused flee is something like fleet or flight or something like that don't get confused flee fled fled flee to means to some place escape to some place actual flee means run away next prisoners fled to hawaii so prisoners fled up to a small difference can make you to lose your mark so up to to that difference is enough to lose the mark so that's why be very careful flee takes uh, the proposition to next to focus on so it's a sort of idiomatic expression so focus on uh, that means to pay attention to something everybody knows this to focus on the project to focus at the project small difference on or at on or at focus always takes on proportion it's a sort of phrasal verb also next forbid x to do y forbid means to make someone to stop doing something to stop someone from doing something that means the mother forbade forbade forbid forbade forbidden so the mother forbade the child to play in the park so forbid x to do y forbid the forbid the child to play in the park some sort of confusion from playing your mind easily accepts easily convinces from playing in the park so but here the thing is it must take the proportion to 2 plus v1 so be careful with these guys so next let's get to phrasal verbs of which we are in uh, uh, the next task that is a p alphabetical order p put off some students get confused between these two put off and put out so put off means postpone or arrange a later date put out means extinguish extinguish means to stop uh, to put out the fire like candle or something like that so why the students get confused with this uh, put off means switch off you you are just stopping something light or something like that so put out is stopping this light uh, like uh, in phrasal verb form 
so don't get confused guys be very careful so put off means postpone the meeting was put off uh, because of the strike next uh, put out means extinguish to extinguish fire right it took a long time to put out the fire next put on what is this put on put on means turn on or switch on so put on means turn on or switch on but put off doesn't mean switch off that's the difference here guys so put out means extinguish put on means turn on switch on could you please put on the light could you put on the light please could you put off the light is definitely wrong that's where the confusion lies careful put up put up means give somebody a bed or accommodate we can put put you up here the fragment is split so we can put you up if you'd like to come for a weekend so we would like to put you up means here we would like to we would give accommodation to you would accommodate you if you are willing to come for a weekend is the point here let's get to editorial vocabulary so here we have got a, a shout in the dark it's a phrase phrasal expression chikatlo rai veyadam something in telugu like a guess or supposition or speculation like not sure that is called as shot in the dark conjecture is a new word remember that diplomatic related to foreign policy kansila take cognizance cognizance jd is usually used these days cognizance of notice of notice something is take cognizance of exercise take into account exercise uh, you know exercise uh, can be used in different forms here so it's a performance or activity or work uh, having hidden intent so ambassador so you know ambassador car itself is there with that name but here ambassador means diplomat who deals with the foreign related things decimate so uh, i'll give you a link here decimal is there right decimal that means 10th part right so to uh, destroy 10th part of uh, anything is called as decimate that means destroying something dashama bhagamu that means 10th part of something is called as decimate to destroy remove or kill a large number of or proportion of people but exact meaning is 10th part of something destroying 10th part of something next retort retort means like answer quickly retrospect retort and why and why also means same ambassador diplomat or a person who deals with the foreign related things go on to like proceed it's a phrasal verb and attribute attribute means connect one thing to other thing associate with the unsubstantiated that means unconfirmed substantiated confirmed unsubstantiated unconfirmed or unproven or unverified syndicate syndicate means a union of something agency or association of something in part means up to certain part in parts we say in parts that means partially moderately relatively to a certain extent but not completely next set of uh, vocabulary mercenary mercenary means a professional soldier professional soldier hired for service for money purpose for personal profit not for uh, uh, like uh, patriotic uh, related rather than for political interest like they take money and they do service uh, particularly uh, soldier related in army in a foreign army amount to be equal to so this is uh, this amounts to something means this is equal to something here the new word is tant amount to be equivalent to <clears throat> next citizenship amendment act what does that mean caa so this is a content term related to the editorial this citizenship amendment bill 2019 seeks to grant citizenship to religious minorities so this one uh, grants citizenship to religious minorities of afghanistan pakistan bangladesh who had to flee their uh, homeland facing persecution like uh, uh, especially these hindus in pakistan and afghanistan some so they ha also have to get uh, this citizenship is uh, this citizenship amendment act especially this was passed in 2019 next uh, preposterous uh, preposterous means something horrible something pointless baseless ridiculous acclaimed critically acclaimed now and then we listen this the movie is critically acclaimed means so prized in public especially criticizers also acclaimed this that means prized this safe haven it's a noun safe haven means where we get complete safety and security that is refuge shelter asylum place of place of safety or security even so it's a phrasal expression even so means however in spite of that so whatever happens in spite of that preempt preempt means forestall or anticipate pre so before so get something in before 
paint uh, here paint means uh, verb actually paint means direct meaning everyone knows so you are painting something uh, as something means you are depicting you are portraying or representing something or describing something in a poor light is a phrasal expression in a particular way in a negative way in a bad way tenure tenure we listen this word what is the tenure of the president in india like incumbency period also can say incumbent means right now whoever is leading the position holding the position is incumbent so incumbency means so how many years he stays over there term of office or period of office and the last but not the least scrutiny scrutiny means examination or inspection or investigation so scrutinizing you say like scrutiny uh, let's get to editorial a shot in the dark on pakistan's uh, terror climb uh, so terror related climb this uh, editorial is about uh, so shot in the dark in the sense it's just an assumption it's a supposition pakistan's allegations have little merit but india uh, must take its diplomatic strategy seriously here so the thing is pakistan is uh, con uh, continuously uh, allegate uh, so putting on these allegations uh, over india so but they have little merit means little worth but india must take uh, so whatever the merit that pakistan's allegations have so india must take its diplomatic strategy very seriously this is the time so india's strong protest what are the points key points in this uh, editorial india's strong protest to un security council over pakistan's so called statement to a special discussion on terrorism is explained by a number of factors what are that factors first of all the statement which pakistan's mission to the un published as something delivered at an open debate on a report by the un secretary general was never actually delivered so that statement which was discussed here so which was submitted by pakistan to un is not at all delivered the only countries invited to the discussion were permanent and non permanent members of the unsc and officials briefing them what other things are happening so india is showing its strong protest towards this uh, un security council about this pakistan so called statement neither does uh, the so here grammatical point when you get neither you get a subject inversion that means hp plus s so neither does the uns sc take uh, cognizance of statements by non non participating countries so this did not take uh, any cognizance of statements the statement then appeared to be an exercise by pakistan in repeating its allegations against india so however this clearly seemed to be appeared to be its a uh, practice or exercise by pakistan to repeat its allegations over against india in the letter pakistan's ambassador sought to portray pakistan as a victim of so here in that particular uh, statement related letter pakistan's ambassador the diplomat uh, they he sought to he tried seek sought 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 to portray pakistan to describe or to display pakistan as a victim of cross border terrorism and claimed that pakistan is responsible for decimating al qaeda in the region so here so false things are clearly known to the entire world that so it uh, uh, the ambassador tried to say that uh, pakistan is a victim of cross border terrorism and also claimed one more thing that uh, pakistan is the only responsible person for decimating means destroying al qaeda in the region so however so those are false statements so everybody knows that as india's mission at the un reported retorted so here india's mission at the un retorted the envoy could not have forgotten that osama bin laden and other leaders of the terror group were all found in pakistan so however india's mission at the un is clearly pretty clear that envoy means ambassador so he could not have forgotten that so many leaders osama bin laden of the terror group were all found in pakistan itself few more points the statement then went on to list four types of terrorism so what sort of terrorism was found in that letter statement so pakistan conference each of which was attributed to india so maximum each of these things are attributed to uh, india by pakistan so what are that what are those the first included some of the attacks in pakistan carried by tehreek e taliban pakistan ttp a group that according to pakistan unsubstantiated uh, claim has been funded by indian terror syndicate based in afghanistan so this is the first point four types of terrorism in that first type is uh, so the attacks in pakistan carried out by tehreek e a taliban pakistan ttp a group according to this pakistan statement what does that indicate means that to unsubstantiated means so without any proof that claim has been funded that claim shows that uh, so that 
TTP has been funded by Indian terror syndicate, uh, especially based in Afghanistan. The claim has been rejected by the UNSC in part uh, partially already as two of the four names forwarded by Pakistan weren't accepted into the terror designations list. However, so UNSC clearly uh, rejected that uh, particular statement. Uh, next, the second allegation was that India has hired mercenaries to carry out attacks in operations. Pakistan claims have been organized by Kul Bhushan Jadav, a formal naval officers. So here, one more allegation according to the Pakistan is, so India has hired mercenaries like who works for money to carry out attacks in operations. So, however, Pakistan claims have been organized by one person, Kulbushan Yadav, who is a former naval officer. Next is Pakistan's contention that policies of the government amount to Hindutva terrorism. Pakistan's contention, contention here means struggle or quarrel, that policies of the government amount to Hindutva. So, is equal to terrorism, Hindutva terrorism with specific references to the Citizenship Amendment Act and the Ram Temple construction. So, this one also was included in the statement. So, that specific reference. Finally, there is the oft, oft means often repeated allegation about Indian government action. Finally, means this is the last one. Uh, government actions in Jammu and Kashmir which it refers to as state terrorism. The fourth one is about uh, the state terrorism related to Jammu and Kashmir. So all these things were uh, mentioned in the statement. India which has described these allegations that four allegations are preposterous and laughable means ridiculous, pointless or baseless. Need not worry about its uh, reputation, India's self reputation given its acclaimed role in fighting terror and cooperating on international stage to deny terrorist funding and safe haven. So however, so this reputation was not at all uh, damaged. So that's why needn't to worry about this uh, reputation because uh, so it was already India was already prized uh, uh, for its role in fighting terror and cooperating on international stage uh, to deny terrorist funding and uh, safe haven means to protect that particular terrorist. Pakistan has consistently done the opposite. So however, everyone knows this and it's a continued grey listing of the FATCTF this uh, force was discussed uh, uh, earlier that is in the previous uh, uh, editorials as well as the presence of the names of hundreds of pakistani terror groups and individuals and un terrorists are proof of that so that's very clear to the entire world so pakistan has consistently done the opposite things even so so whatever however in spite of that it is important that the government take the pakistan attempt to build its case seriously and preempt is its larger strategy of uh, painting india in a poor light ahead of its tenure at the un so these things have to be taken very seriously by our government because so it's trying to build its case and preempt its larger strategy of to uh, keep india in poor light uh, so before ahead of its tenure 10 minutes that period of office uh, at the un security council 2021 2022 and the upcoming scrutiny process at the fatf before these things so it's trying to keep india in the possible poor light so those things have to be taken seriously by our government can be the conclusion for this so however shot in the dark means by pakistan so it's trying to do some supposition trying to put a stone uh, without uh, the consequences so uh, let the pakistan wait and see what happens uh, next by the time by the time the tenure is completely over okay let's get to the test of the day so here so the highlighted uh, part uh, okay so here the highlighted part what are the highlighted part is clearly according to the instructions that is clearly grammatically contextually correct in the remaining parts you have to find out the error if there is no error no error will be the answer just read go on reading of the five solutions of the five solutions this uh, is definitely Definitely best. Best is superlative and we require the here. That is the error. That's it. Simple. So same error detection with a small twist. The school building's ceiling needs repairing. The here itself we got it. So for non-living things we don't use apostrophe. Like uh, so this uh, how, uh, this room's ceiling wrong. Uh, this chair's legs wrong. Legs of the chair. Uh, ceiling of the roof. Uh, so something like that. Uh, ceiling of the school building is required. So error is in the A part. 
let's get to the next question all the boys students so when you get compound nouns the primary one that means the main noun uh, has to get uh, plural forms and the remaining has to get a uh, singular that means boy students is preferable not boys to all the boy students like they are not two different boys comma students it's not a different it's a single noun it's a compound noun then we take uh, yes to only one noun that's why boys students strong boy students right next all the boys over right rita as well as some of her classmates how so error is the verb so whenever the two subjects are uh, joined using as well as you can write few more as well as with uh, uh, so in addition to in addition to like like if you get these kind of uh, link uh, linking points like connectors uh, to two subjects first subject has to be considered in uh, the main subjects sense first subject only that means here rita as well as some of her classmates so here what is the subject classmates or rita like i'll give you uh, give you one more ramu uh, ramu as well as his friends is or are going to moving like you see friends and you say are going to move wrong so first subject is ramu that's why i had to take is so here even rita rita is the first subject so that's why so has has to be used because so rita takes singular singular verb that means with s form that is has that's why the error is not uh, how it's has it is appearing appearing is stative verb like taste uh, like smell uh, like uh, see uh, so like that appear is a stative verb so it should not contain it should not be used in ing form it appears to me it has to be used it appears uh, is the correction appears to me that you are conspiring against so that is the case here i hope you got the points guys so i hope you enjoyed the class so once again uh, so many are yet to come uh, so that latest patterns related classes uh, did not stop we are about to plan number of models in a single session like number of patterns in a single session to get maximum marks so that's why keep waiting for that so by the way don't forget to subscribe our channel and share with your friends and don't forget to like thank you signing off